Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 9222019, the 222 portal, the heavenly realms opening up to the earthly realms. Today being Ken 72, and tomorrow it is Sunday today, the 37 just came through again, 307. The 37 is the Earth 73 heaven. We're bringing the 73 into the 37 as we rise up from the ashes of the old Earth, the old false matrix, as we bring down the divine matrix from the cosmic heavenly realms, cosmic consciousness, God consciousness, Christ consciousness. Today being the Kin 72, yesterday with the Kin 71. Tomorrow on the equinox, of course, it will be Kin 73, Kin 73. More symbolism, synchronicity for the ascension process as we rise up, rise up from the old into the new, the new earth, the new world, the new Eden, the new Atlantis. As the divine feminine, the divine waters rise up to come into balance with the fire through the heart center, the fire above, the earth below, coming together into the middle, the center, as emerge as the twin flames merge. And the threefold flame through the Trinity, three Dantians, come together into the middle to reconnect all aspects of ourselves, to merge all timelines, to bring all into the one, the zero point energy as we get closer to this equinox, the neutral point, the zero point, the middle path, the singularity in the center of our being, the still white magnetic light at the center, as we manifest out into this realm into this field, into this energy, our pure love, our pure light, our pure truth, to uplift all life and all humanity and all realms. So let us know what you're experiencing, how you're feeling, as these massive waves are coming in through the sun portal today, these intense white light, this intense white waves from that pure white light, as the holy fire and the holy waters come together. We rise up together in perfect harmony, perfect balance, per perfect matrimony. The Ma, the waters with the Tri, the Trinity, the Divinity, together with the moon and the sun coming together. The left and the right merge together in the middle. This is the middle path that the Buddha talked about, that the Buddha taught about. That all masters talk about this neutral still center, the heart center which is our infinite creative magnetic potential. So rise up, brothers and sisters of the light. Rise up in this ascension as your spirits are lifted higher and higher up the sacred mountain to the highest peaks of the holiest mountains. Aho, 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 meteako yasin. To all our brothers and sisters, all our relations in all realms, we heard the calling. We came for this mission to unite all minds, all hearts, the heart is in the mind center. The mind and the heart are one. The separation program is ending as we rise into our full unity consciousness. One heart, one mind together. We are the light warriors that came to manifest the new earth. So stay in the heart. Keep walking your path with heart, beloved beings of light. Today's transmission, Kuan Yin on Gaia's ascension and the awakening of masses. Now, Kuan Yin, that's in Chinese, is the Bodhisattva of compassion. You see sometimes Guan Yin in Japan, or Avelokitesvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion in India. It's the same compassion, love of the divine feminine, or we say Bodhisattva, the sacred awareness that gives up full awakening until all beings are awakened in all realms. Kuan Yin, and this is channeled by Linda Li, L-I. Li like fire, divine, sacred fire, in the middle, pyramid. Kuan Yin says that the current energies the planet is experiencing are directly from the mother and the divine feminine. The energies are suitable for the moment when the planet and humanity are awakening. The awakening of the masses is happening, dear ones. As you know, that is the divine plan. Mother God has been working on this plan since the birth of this beautiful planet. The plan is for the planet to be a learning ground for souls who have the desire to experience human life 
and the souls who want to go through this learning and training process. It is the most challenging place, and yet it is also the most rewarding experience a soul could have by incarnating to this planet. We, the divine, have so much of the love and appreciation for Gaia. She has sacrificed literally everything she can for the planet and souls who have been to this planet. Gaia is the mother of all souls who live on the earth and the souls who have been to the planet. She is the most giving soul out there. The divine has great admiration and appreciation for the sacrifices Gaia has been giving. And we, the divine, are doing whatever we can to make sure Gaia herself can go home. Now the planet has anchored in the fifth dimension, and Gaia has officially ascended. We are so relieved in a sense that everything is going to be alright. Gaia has the opportunity to go home now, and Mother Earth is ascending nicely, and we thank Mother God for all these achievements. She is the one who made it possible. Gaia has a great deal of admiration for the Father, and she listens to the Father, and it makes it so much easier in terms of Gaia's ascension and the next phase of the ascension, which is the restoration and the rebuilding of Mother Earth. Talking about Mother Earth, I want to give the Lightworkers a quick update and let our Lightworkers know where we are with Mother Earth's remapping process and what is to come. The planet Earth is going through yet another round of releasing. You probably can see and feel the momentum of Earth's releasing. It is quite a fierce process. Thank heavens that we have brought a great team of experts who are working to make sure the releasing of the past is moderate so that the souls on the planet can have a reasonable living condition. Despite the fact that the planet needs a lot of the letting go, there are still processes in place. These processes are there to make sure the ascension is smooth and successful. Mother God has literally been working on these processes nonstop to make sure they are functioning according to the divine plan. Mother God is the one who brought all these processes and procedures here and she has all the expertise and resources. That is why we have such a smooth ride since her arrival. We deeply appreciate what Mother God has been doing for Gaia and the Divine. We also look forward to the day when the Divine Mother, incarnated, starts the ruling in the office of the Divine Government and that day is coming, dear heart. We on the other side of the veil are preparing for the day the Divine Mother incarnated can start her tenure and we have everything in place for her. The only thing left to do is wait for the Divine Mother to be ready. She has the Divine Authority to make the announcement when the time comes and she is the one who decides when she is ready and when is the time. From the Divine's point of view we are ready. Our dear Lightworkers community is pretty much ready. Of course there are always some newly awakened souls who will be on the path for a while and they may not be ready for the moment and that is the design. That is totally expected. That is why the divine will keep having the light sources in upcoming decades. We are totally okay with the progress that these newly awakened souls made and the divine will continue to guide them. The bottom line is that this moment of the ascension process is perfect. We the Divine are ready to start the next phase. We want our Lightworkers to be noticed and be ready. Know that the final announcement has come from the Divine Mother. She is the only one who has the authority to decide when it's the proper time and when she is going to make the announcement. We the Divine have a great deal of admiration and appreciation for Mother God. We want to help the Divine Mother in whatever way she wants us to help. And we always want to be on her side and help. We are the Divine Feminine and we love the Divine Mother. She is the most loved soul out there and she is the most capable soul on the planet. We know that she is here and we want to let her know that we, the Divine Feminine, loves her. She has all the resources we bring to the planet and she has all the loving support. She is indeed having everything she needs and that is what we work towards. We are here to make sure the Divine Mother's path is as easy as it can be and we do whatever we can to achieve our goal. We are the biggest fans of the Mother God and we love her greatly. I am Quan Yin. I love you, dear heart. Happy Fall Equinox 2019. So it is. From Linda Lee. And today from Elizabeth, Peru. The global equinox saturates Earth. If you were living in the ancient times, it would now be one of the most sacred and cosmically inspired dates on your yearly calendar. Indeed, over the coming 24 hours, day and night, we will be of near equal length of Earth's equator passes through the center of the sun. The equinox is special. It marks the northern hemisphere's transition into six months of greater dark and the southern hemisphere's transition into six months of the greater light. 
according to our life focus, will move internally or externally as well. This is from ElizabethPeru.com. And today, from the Dream Spell Journey of Volum Votan and Balon Ilk, it is Kin 72, the Yellow Resonant Human. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its key words are channel, free will, and attune. Number seven days are all about using your intuition, trusting your gut instincts. We all have this ability, but sadly too often we ignore what we feel. If you look back in your life, I bet you can think of countless incidences where mistakes were made because you didn't listen to your intuition. Listen carefully. Spirit is always sending you messages. You just need to tune your receiver. Of course, what you do with the wisdom you receive is up to you, hence free will. Today is yellow human, which happens to be the most psychic sign, and so we have a combination of number and day which are almost identical in meaning. Today is the most powerfully psychic day in the Zolkin. Take advantage of this and tune into the cosmos. You will know exactly what to do today and all the decisions and choices you make will be beneficial if you trust that inner voice. It is subtle, so you must chill out and be calm. This fine-tuning of your reception will facilitate incoming messages. Today's guide is the yellow seed, which represents sowing awareness. The desire to share knowledge will guide your actions today, implying that we, what we channel we must share. The challenge for day, today is the white wind, which represents communication and spirit. This suggests it is difficult to communicate what you channel, but it is what we are striving for, so be patient. Not everyone wants to hear what we want to say. If you are a white wind, remember to practice listening to your inner voice. It's something you always need to brush up on anyway. And on human days, it is a good reminder to do so. The occult power is the red moon, the most chilled out energy of the Zolkin, which is fitting because the moon influences our minds, especially our feminine intuition. We really do need to go with the flow if we want to channel. You have permission to relax today. The ally is the blue hand, your helpful healer who is invaluable today. And so if you know one, contact them if you need any advice or support. It is a portal day. This should be fun. Your intuition can take you places you've never been before. Kin72, Yellow Resonant Human. I channel in order to influence, inspiring wisdom. I seal the process of free will with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And yesterday, I connected with Divine Sistar, Divine Feminine Goddess in Cape Cod on the East Coast. As we connect through the field, the Divine 44, love workers, light workers, light warriors, as they transmit their codes to me, I transmit to them and we build this energy up. And then hopefully through the 1010 portal, I will bring the combination of our team of light workers to all of you to connect and help all love workers, light workers through this realm to be activated and lifted up, rising through the field, through the portals, through the vortex, into the sacred temple, the crystal temple, the crystal palace within yourself. Aho. So let us know what you're feeling, brothers and sisters of the light, what you're experiencing through these ascension energies as we transition tomorrow. Or depending on when you're listening to it, it might be today or yesterday, the 23rd, the 923, which will be Kin 73, Heaven on Earth. As we transition through the middle path, through the middle heart, the middle Dantian, the central channel, the sacred center, the divine center. As we transmit out into the field our highest love, light, and truth, connect with your soul families here and these final missions days for this great breakthrough energy, breaking through, releasing the veil, letting go of the veil, letting go of the past, the false self, the false matrix. As we transition into the, the new earth, the divine La Matrica, the divine waters. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Thank you for everyone that has joined us and our team on the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America in the foothills of the sacred Andes Mountains, the Andes Mountains. The Kundalini of Gaia, rising up from the base of the spine in Ecuador, up through Peru, into Chile. You can join us in raising funds for this mission at, with a CBD business at cbdpeaceoil.com. We'll put the link in the description below. Be sure to join us on primedisclosure.com. We have a chat room there for lightworkers. 
The 1551, the 1551 just came through. Oh, so rise up, brothers and sisters of the light. Lift your spirits to the highest of highs, the holiest of holies, as we anchor deep into the heart of Gaia, into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. So we rise up to the highest peaks. We are the Rainbow Bridge. Our physical form, our physical vessel, is the Rainbow Bridge that connects heaven to earth through the heart center. So light warriors, we are rising, we are gathering, and we are here for each other. All life, all humanity, no one gets left behind. Victory to the light, brothers and sisters. I love you all. Namaste.